Now this is a perfectly good modern Australian bushman's hat. Surprising therefore that it should have so many old-fashioned properties about it. What do I mean? We'll have a look inside. Right at the back, at the back of the hat band, you'll see there is a tiny bow. And that bow is useless really, it's just for decoration. But it dates from the time, hundreds of years ago, when people made hats really of only one size. They were big. And if you wanted it to fit your head, you drew this drawstring in, rather like the neck of a marbles bag, until it fitted your head. Tied it into a bow, and that was your sized hat. These days they make hats of all different sizes, but they still keep the bow as a legacy of those times. And if you turn the hat over, on the left hand side you'll find often a little feather, and if that's not there, you will find usually a decoration. And it's almost always on the left. Why? Well, once again, hundreds of years ago, they wore hats like this. This one's got the drawstring a bit tight for me, but you can see the idea. A great big decorative plume. And when you were sword fighting, you had to have the plume on the left-hand side. Otherwise, it'd get caught in the sword, because most people were right-handed. Well, that's all gone. We don't sword fight now. But even today, along with the bow, the left-hand side of the hat has those traces of decoration.